Hello YouTubers, it's Michelle, and I'm here today with a swap that I just completed. I joined Bona's uh, Live Love Scrap here on YouTube. I joined her uh, What's in Your Vintage Purse swap. This was the first, uh, well actually it was my second, um, handmade swap that I've joined here on YouTube. And I was so excited because... Vintage and shabby chic. It's right up my alley. And uh, I seen what Bona had done with her vintage purse when she was uh, taking sign ups and stuff. And it just looked like a really fun swap. So, what we had to do was we had to take a wooden purse from Michael's and we had to alter it. And then uh, we had to make our partner 10 handmade items to go inside. Now, this is what my purse looks like opened up, and this is all the different handmade items, and please forgive the shaky camera, but I'm holding the camera so I can kind of focus on the different things that are in the purse. And my swap per- bleh, sorry about that. My swap partner was Tina, and her YouTube name is- Diaz de Corona. And I really hope she likes what I made her. So what I'll do is I'll take some of these items out. And I'll let you see them. The first thing that I did was I made her an altered dress form. This is using the Tim Holtz Sizzix die. And I dressed it up with, um, the papers that I used on everything were from the K and Cup, from a K and Company, um, I think it was Classic K, from one of their paper stacks. And I distressed it, and I used some Prima Flowers, and some Brads, and some flat back Pearls, and I painted it. And then the back is just paper. So that's the first item that I made for her. The second item, I took a wooden spool that I'd purchased at either Hobby Lobby or at Michael's, I can't remember. And I kind of aged and distressed it with some paints and some distress inks. And I cut a piece of paper for the bottom. I wrapped some lace around it. Put a pretty trim on there. Put a couple of stick pins in there and a button. And then on the top, I used some of the I Am Roses. And I made a little stick pin that says Tina. And I stuck another little stick pin out of there. And then I used the some of the Adage tags from Tim Holtz. And one of the uh, memo pins to hold that. So that's that. So that's my second item. My third item, I took a popsicle stick and I painted it with some acrylic paint. I put some buttons on it and it's a little bird that I got at Michael's in the floral department. And I put on there, wherever you go, go with all your heart. So I thought that was kind of a neat little saying to put inside of a purse. So that's my third item. My fourth item, I took one of the bottles that you get at Joann's in their dollar section. It's one of the clear bottles. And I put some stick pins inside. On the top, I attached one of the iron roses. I put a piece of lace and tied it around. And then I also took a bigger piece and tied it around the middle. And I took some twine and a couple more of the I Am Roses and attached them to the front. So that's my fourth item. My fifth item is from the Caged Bird Die from Tim Holtz. And I painted the, the uh, bird cage and then I kind of distressed it a little bit with a white ink. Then I put a keychain fastener up here at the top. 
and I put in skeleton key that I painted, and then I also attached the little bird, and then I did one of the rosette flowers, and I put a button in the middle of that. That's that. That's my fifth item. My sixth item is actually an altered juice lid. And I decorated it with Prima flowers. And in the middle, I uh, used some of the uh, three dimensional paint. I can't think what it's called. Scribbles. I used some of the scribbles. And then I took. Uh, the bird and this from the caged bird die and um, I distressed the bird and I kind of pop dotted it pop dotted the wing to give it a little bit of extra dimension and then I put a little bow with ribbon and a button and the little tag that says smile is from Kane Company um, some little punch outs that I had so that's my sixth item. My seventh item is an altered CD. <coughs> Excuse me. And I used a Sizzix bird die. And uh, I used the K and Company paper. I actually kind of cut some of the flowers out and made it a little more three dimensional. Uh, I uh, used some lace and I used some more of the little uh, word punch outs that I had for K and Company. And then these were some little eggs that I got at Michael's in the floral department. So that's the altered CD. So that is, let's see, one, two, three. That's my seventh item. My eighth item is an altered coaster, and again, I put a place here where she could put a picture, and I decorated it with some Prima flowers and some jewels, um, I did another rosette flower with a button in the middle, and then that's just a clear epoxy sticker that says family, so I thought maybe she could put a picture of her family or her kids on here, so I thought that was kind of cute. So that's my eighth item. And then my ninth item, I did kind of a an assortment of flowers. And I made her two rosettes. And I actually did these rosettes using on the Martha Stewart scoreboard. So, did that one. And then I did that one. And then the flowers I made out of felt. I made her this one. And this one. And then I made her some of the little rosettes. I made her another one out of green. And another one out of brown. And then for my final item, I made her some buttons out of chipboard, different sizes, using the coordinating papers. I thought there was one more. Yeah, here it is. So there's our buttons. And then again, this is the inside. I put a little doily in there. And I this was actually a white doily that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I took actually some brown glimmer mist. I don't I forget what color it was. And I sprayed it and it turned pink. So then I put it in um some tea to tea dye it a little bit give it kind of a vintage look and then i also put some of these little gold pearls in there to decorate and then i'll show you what 
This is what the bottom looks like. I just used a Mod Podge of different papers from the collection that I used. And the purse, as you can see, I used a crackle finish paint. I painted it brown and then I put the crackle medium on there and then I used a uh, antique white. This is the back of the purse. And here is the front. And on the front, um, it's got a lot going on. I used a lot of buttons. I used dominoes. I used epoxy stickers. And the T is um, just a monogram for her name, Tina. I used the caged bird died again. Um, actually, that's not the caged bird died. That's uh, the lead birds, I think, die. I used the domino, uh, some more I am roses, and K and Company, um, the word flirt. I used that. It's a piece of chipboard that came in a chipboard kit that I had. So. This is my altered purse. I hope Tina likes it. I really enjoyed the swap. Thanks, Bona, for hosting such a fun swap. And Tina, I hope you like your purse and all your goodies that I made for you. I will be shipping this out tomorrow, Wednesday, which is uh, May the 25th. So hopefully you will have it... Uh, before the deadline, I forgot that there is a holiday on Monday, so that may delay things a little bit. But I really enjoyed making this for you, and I can't wait to see what Tina comes up for me. Uh, like I said, this was a really fun swap, and I've really enjoyed watching everybody's videos as they've received their purses and stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching, and... If you want to comment, please leave a comment below. I appreciate it. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.